Well, it's Sunday around the farm and there's always something to do. And the first thing I thought of was for all the haters that said that tire stuff would never fix this tire. Well, it's been two weeks and it went flat in two days and it looks like it's just as round as it was the after I finished pumping it up. So, hey, I guess this stuff really does work. But um, for everybody else, I know there was some interest in the truck. I had a couple people and i'm not exactly sure what happened but they never come but uh the truck is still for sale i really haven't i haven't even listed it anywhere else i was just going to see how that panned out first but um the truck is still for sale i will actually put my email in the description below that'll probably make it a little easier since uh people don't want to comment and or it's, it, it is really hard to send a message on youtube unless you know how to do it but um uh, 7500 it's a 72 a.m. general I think hold on one second we're gonna I still haven't taken the time to figure out what it is but I think the book is actually in there's a wasp in here please don't get me oh there's more than one is the book in there the book somewhere I'll find the book but it does come with the title. Um, it is. There's a wasp nest in there, evidently. Dirt other one. But it is road legal. Uh, you might have to fix a couple lights on it. But uh, it does come with the title. Asking 7500 for it. Uh, it is a, a good running old truck. So uh, just send me an email. And I'll post it in the description below. Let's go get tied up in some more stuff. This cube seems, uh, seems to come more and more common now. This is pretty much my weekend view all the time now. Dragging this mower around. Because when you have as much yard as I do, you get used to spending hours and hours on the weekend doing this but I do I enjoy I enjoy being outside and running around on the farm I can't really do anything with these these fields up here it's uh they're too small to really get anything any production out of them at least on my rental plus I just I like the view when you come down the uh the driveway of the nice field but it does require a lot of mowing a lot of mowing so cut that on i'm actually going to shift it into medium that's the only thing i don't like about this tractor it's hard to get into medium sometimes or medium gear oh lordy but it is nice to uh be in the air condition got a radio even though YouTube does not like my music. Although so you get to listen to me. Yeah. This is uh, about three quarters of an acre pasture. You could have probably turn into a house lot. But I like it as a, as a field right now. And as much rain as we've gotten while I was out of town on the Volvo trip it uh, has really taken off so I run around keep everything mowed down I'm probably going to get a sprayer for the back of this tractor so I can run around and and spray the, the edges and everything these blasted mimosa trees grow about a foot a day I think those things are four foot high since the last time I bush hogged that last fall so keep all this mowed down. I think there's more rain coming. Between this mower and I'll probably get on the other tractor too. I'll show it to you. It's the original tractor I brought. So as you notice the uh the battery died in the camera about midway through that video there. But uh yeah, I got my mowing done with the uh Finished the mower and I figured I'd take the Ford here. Already done a little mowing 
Um, I pulled it under here so you can get a good video of it out of the sun. But this is this is my baby. This is my first tractor. It's a 1983 Ford 2810. I bought it. It was from one owner. Um, it was an 83 model, like I said. 708 original hours on it. I just got a little over a thousand hours on it now. I've had it five years. Um, I was planning on selling it when I bought that tractor, but I was like, you know, I'm just too partial to it. Plus, it's nice to have another tractor for like the bush hog or keep the box plate on or whatever. It doesn't get used much now, but it's uh, it is my baby. It's a 37 horsepower tractor. I swear, it seems like it's got just as much power as <laughs> as that 50 horsepower tractor does. But, uh, I think it's got more torque. <laughs> this joker right here, if the cable don't break, it'll pull it up off the ground. These are good old tractors. But enough yakking. Let's go ahead and do a little bush hogging. Now, I know Jimmy to the top crane is going to be a little mad, but I lost, I lost both my magnetic mounts at the, uh, the Volvo um trip sorry jimmy i they it ate them somewhere i never used them and they disappeared out of the truck so i don't i think somebody took them <laughs> or the truck ate them one because i can't find them but i'm just gonna have to hold the camera i'm gonna do a little bush hogging uh on that fence line near the neighbor's cornfield so let's uh let's go over there and do a little mowing You know it's good? The new tractor doesn't do this. You can't see it. Good old tractor, and that, that that was the sound of a gear grinding. I guess because it's warm, it won't smoke. You can lug it down in like seventh or eighth gear, and it'll it'll smoke pretty good. You can chug it out. So I've been mowed over there all year long, so I want to sneak through the woods here. Trying to keep the uh, the fence lines in check.
forgot where reverse was. It's down, not up. We'll go back in third. Cut it on, it cuts on. Here we go. 